Hello and welcome to my garage. First of all, I'd like to wish all my viewers a very happy 2023 and I hope that you had a very enjoyable Christmas and you got all the things you wanted. First of all, an appointment that's taken quite so long to, uh, to get a video out to you. The last race of the season for me was Goodwood in September. We then had MGB 60 and then after that, I've just sort of been busy with work and various things. I haven't really touched the car since MGB 60, but hopefully Getting back in the swing of things a bit now, you might be able to hear I've, I've sort of lost my voice a bit over Christmas, had a bit of a nasty cold and various sort of things going on. So sorry there's not been any videos, but hopefully we are, we are back to normal now. And for the first video of, of, of 2023, I've got a slightly, not really interactive, but it's, it's one where I need to ask your opinions on something. As you probably know, last year I had a bit of a smack at Snetterton, which damaged, uh, damaged the car quite badly, damaged the front cross member too. So the, well, the UK driver's side or, or right hand side took most of the impact and you can see, hopefully I've got that lined up, you can see on the, on the cross member here where, you've, where this, this hole has deformed very badly, this, this part all creased up and this, is, um, this caused the chassis leg to get damaged. So for the next, so the Mark II cross member I definitely won't be putting any holes any holes in this area because I'd like to try and keep that, uh, keep that sort of as strong as possible. I'm still very tempted to keep the hole on this, on the, in this area because I think this sort of flexed up a bit and that did save, save, the, um, save the chassis leg a bit. It's all a, a question of knowing at the moment what, to, what holes to drill and what not to. You can see in the middle, in the middle of the cross member there, the three holes there, that did allow that section to buckle up a bit. Whether that sort of helped absorb a bit of the impact, I just... I just don't know is the honest answer. So if any any sort of uh, any experts out there can give me some pointers, I would be uh, I'll be very keen to know more. You can see the underneath here. Ignore that hole. So I was just I was just doing a bit of a test with a with a hole saw set I bought. You see that's this is all deformed very badly. But the question I have is, with that deforming, has that then saved the chassis leg? So I'm sort of going I'm going to have a look at this cross member over the next few days and sort of plan out plan out which sort of holes to cut and which uh, and which to leave out and then to give you an idea of the weight saving of the cross member you can see this is the drilled one on the scales there that's at 10 kilos 850 grams and then this is a, a totally standard unmodified cross member you can see that's 11 kilos 890 grams so it's nearly a, a kilo of weight saved um, from the holes in there but obviously the question, the, the, the sort of problem I have is how many holes are, are, are sort of sensible and how many aren't. Um, I'm just going to show you the, uh, the sort of my inspiration for the, for the cross member now, which is this one that, uh, that, that appeared, it was on British race car, and it was one that Alpes, um, Alpes used in, in the 1960s. So looking at his cross member here, you can see he's sort of cut out a large section of the bottom, bottom of the cross member and a few lightening holes there as well. Top side you can also see he's taken, uh, taken quite a few holes in that um, all the way through it and, and including that part where I don't think I'll be drilling which is the holes where it bolts up to the, uh, to the body. Also another interesting little detail if you look at the steering rack you can see he's sort of got a little, couple of little, little pillow blocks under the, uh, under the rack there to move, it, to move the rack up a little bit. And you might be just, so it's very dark under here unfortunately, you can just see under the car there, this is, this is on my car and you can see the angle of the, um, the tie rods as they come out of the steering rack. I, I would be tempted to sort of raise it up very slightly just to see if I could get that as a, as, as a more horizontal line. And so now I've got to plan out what to, what to do with this, what to do with this, uh, with this cross member now. I'm very tempted with a few holes along the front here. I'm also sort of keen to put a couple of holes here. Maybe if I could aim for sort of a, a sort of a 500 gram weight deduction, that might be a, that might be more sensible than sort of doing quite so many holes as before. I'm going to leave this entire area as it is. I think that's, in, that's important to sort of keep that, uh, keep that rigidity on, on the chassis leg. I probably won't put any holes in the top, merely just, I think when you're looking down on the engine bay, it looks a little bit unsightly. Underneath the cross member, I might put a few more lightening holes here. Um, I'm not going to cut out this entire middle section like Alpes did, but I might put a couple of, a couple of holes around there. I mean, really, I could probably do with uh, losing a few kilos of myself after Christmas, but uh, sometimes it's easier to drilling holes in metal instead. 
I'd be very keen to hear people's opinions on uh, what they think I should do with the front cross member. Any advice gratefully received. I'm not really a, not really an expert on uh, on sort of crush zones in cars or anything like that. So any any information would would be most helpful. And as as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Hopefully, we'll be doing a, a complete steering rack repair video early in uh, 2023. Our new engine is it's nearly ready. I was hoping it would be ready for Goodwood, but it isn't. Uh, so hopefully. End of January we should be fitting that back into the car and then we'll be hopefully just about ready for the season ahead. So hopefully you'll join me again soon. Many thanks. Bye.